Good morning, Rocketeers. Welcome to 2.5 SEL Week 5, Day 2. Day 2. Share up. Yesterday, we read about a new virus called the coronavirus. What it can do to our community. What can we do to make sure we stop spreading? We stop the spreading. I can start. I can sort by actions that prevent germs or spread germs. All right, Rocketeers, right here you have a quick little activity. I want you guys to take a few moments to look at it and sort it out. Comment below. Objective. I can learn how to prevent the spread of germs. Why are some places we normally go closed? Although lots of people will get better from, from the coronavirus, it's really important that people who might become very ill don't catch it. This means we need to make sure that as few people as possible get the coronavirus so that we don't pass it on to anyone who might get very ill. And if lots of people get ill and we have to go to the hospital at the same time, then hospitals will get too busy to look after people properly. It is so easy to get the coronavirus that we need to be very careful that we don't get too near who don't live with us. Schools closed, hooray! Schools closed, boo. And that's why all the places where lots of people are together like schools and libraries are closed at the moment. The government of this country has said that people can only go outside their homes if they really, really have to. Some people like doctors or nurses or people who work in food shops or people who deliver things to our homes have to go out of their home to go to work. I'm working with nurses to help people who are ill. I'm working so you can still buy food. Most people can also go out of their home if they need to buy food or to exercise, but they must be very careful not to go near anyone else. If you if you or anyone in your family feels ill and thinks they might have the coronavirus, you can't come out of your home at all for two weeks. We all have to stay at home to protect the people who, who will find it hard to fight the coronavirus. I'm working with doctors to help people who are ill. I'm working to deliver the things family needs. What it's like to be at home all the time. Sometimes being at home with the people you live with can be great fun you can do things together that you wouldn't normally do when you are at school or when the grown-ups are at work but sometimes I feel bored sometimes I miss my friends sometimes I feel angry sometimes I feel sad these are all normal things to feel any and everyone who lives with you probably feels the same way. Sometimes, even if they try not to show it. Bored, bored, bored. The grown up, the grown up or grown ups who look after you might also feel worried. Sometimes they might feel worried about work. Sometimes it might be hard to buy the things that you all need. And that might worry them too. If you are worried, talk about your worries to the grown-up who looks after you. If you are still going to school, maybe you could talk to a teacher or maybe you could talk to, or maybe you could talk to a teacher or someone else in your family on the phone or using a computer or a tablet. But what if I feel worried too? What can I do to help? You are already helping a lot by staying at home, but you can also help by taking extra care to make sure you don't catch or pass, pass on the coronavirus to anybody else. Did you know that viruses are killed by soap? So if you wash your hands really carefully and for long, en for long enough, you won't have any coronavirus germs on your hands, you can sing a song while you wash your hands to make sure you are washing them long enough long uh long for long enough long enough to sing the happy birthday song twice i'm sure all of you know the happy birthday song 
if you have to wipe or blow your nose, use a tissue and put it in the bin straight away. Remember to wash your hands too because the coronavirus lives in your snot and it can get on your hands from the tissue. If you have to cough or sneeze, do it into the side, into the corner of your elbow, like this, not on your hand. Then you can't give the coronavirus to other people that way. If everyone does these things, it will make a, it will make a big difference. But the germs can come in and out of my nose too. <laughs> What else can I do? Another important thing you can do is to be kind to the people that you live with. Things will be different and perhaps difficult for all of you. If you live with brothers and sisters, you might sometimes find them annoying, but try not to fight with them. Your turn. If you live with grown-ups, maybe you can help them by doing what you've been asked to do or giving them a big hug. Mom, has asked us to put our toys away. Okay, I'll sort the books. If you are not at school, do your schoolwork. It will help to keep your mind busy so you won't be bored. And then when you go back to school, you will have learned a lot. If you don't have a screen of your own, talk about how you can share screen time fairly with everyone who needs it. Remember, grown-ups who live with you might have to do work as well. If they do, you can help them by not disturbing them when they are trying to work. They, then, they'll, then they will be more likely to have time to do fun things with you. Maybe you can make a list of things that you would like to do with them. Shh, Barney, stop barking. What's going to happen next? This is a strange time for everybody and it's happening all over the world. But if we are all carefully careful and we all stay at home, we are doing what we can to stop the coronavirus from spreading. And that gives the scientists and doctors time to work out how to cure the illness and maybe stop people getting it all together by using medicines and vaccines. One day, quite soon, Though nobody knows exactly when, you'll be able to visit people you love who don't live with you, play with your friends, go to school again, and do lots of other things that you enjoy, but that you can't do now. One day, this strange time will be over. Yay! Now we can play together. We did it together. In closing, today we finished reading coronavirus. We read about how many different places are being closed due to the coronavirus and why it's important to do this to make sure we don't spread the virus to others. Think about what we can do to make sure we are doing our part in being safe. Make sure that we are all keeping our distance.